today the tutorial video on the Magic Solstice performance. I got some really cool reviews on the uh, performance video, so today we're gonna do the tutorial. Now, uh, what you're gonna do for this trick is three very simple things: a cup with salt or a salt shaker, a regular coin, and a napkin. And like I said in the performance, these are three things that are very easy to find when you're, for instance, in a restaurant or a bar with friends. And that's why this trick is um, very, you don't need any preparation to do this trick. So what you're going to start out with doing is you're going to show the audience your coin. You can flick it, and you can also even knock on the table, show that there's no props used. Place down the coin, and now you're going to take your cup or your salt shaker. If you want to, you can pour a bit of salt over the coin. I think this adds a bit of realism. Uh, to the trick, but you don't have to do that. Once you have or haven't done that, you place your cup or salt shaker onto the coin. And now you're going to take your napkin, unfold it, and place it over the cup like so. This is where the real magic trick starts to happen. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take your hands and you're going to grasp around the cup like so. And you actually want the napkin to take shape of the cup or salt shaker so that you can create the illusion that uh, the cup or salt shaker is still there even though it's already gone. Uh, so, what you're going to do first, because it takes a while for the napkin to take shape, is you're going to go once. You're going to go three, two, one, bam! And you're like, oh, I'm sorry, the coin, it didn't disappear. I failed. Uh, this is kind of like some sort of story that you're going to tell your audience, only to bid time. Now, once you've done that, so it's three, two, one, bam, and the coin hasn't disappeared, of course. You place the cup back over, and you're going to do the second time. So you're going to go 3, 2, 1, bam. And notice that I pull the cup towards myself. This is very crucial that you do this in both the first and the second time, because if the first time you put it here, and the second time you put it here, it can uh, create some suspicion in the audience. Now, the reason you're pulling it towards yourself is, of course, this is how you're going to get rid of the cup. So, like I said, first time, Three, two, one, bam. Oh, I'm so sorry. The coin had disappeared. It didn't disappear. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try it again. All right, ready? Three, two, one, bam. And now I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the cup. Okay, so in this camera view, uh, I'm going to show you how you uh, get rid of the cup. So once you have the cup in the position here on top of the coin, uh, what we just did is like the pretend one where the coin is still there, like I showed. Now the second one, uh, you can count down on this one. So it's like three, two, one. It's like, gosh darn it, the coin is still there. But as you see, what I did is I pull the cup back towards my waist. And if you wanna, uh, if you wanna prevent the audience from uh, having any suspicion, when you do the first one, you can also pull back. Don't get rid of the cup. Second one, you do pull back. And all you have to do is just release pressure and just let that cup fall into your waist. So that is how you get rid of right, a cup. So once you have actually gotten rid of the cup, all you have to do is just um, pull back your hand. So right now what you're going to have is a napkin that is pretty much in the shape of your cup. With your cup on your lap, of course, like I showed in the other camera angle. So all you have to do is just bring back your hand and just slam it down. So you're going to do as if you place the cup back on the coin and you slam it down. And you can put a lot of force into it to kind of even scare your audience because they think you're going to hurt your hand like slam into the cup, but it's gone. And you're going to take take away the napkin and be like, the coin is still here, but the, but the cup, the salt shaker is gone. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this magic trick tutorial, and I see you all next time.